In this video, we'll make a business card using Fusion's basic tools. To choose the units you want to work with, click on Document Settings, click on this icon, and then click the drop-down arrow. I'm currently using inches and I'm going to keep that unit. Then click OK. Now click on Create Sketch. Click on the plane you want to sketch on and then choose the tool you want to sketch with. I chose the rectangle. Now I can simply click two points or I can type the distances I want. For example, I'll type 5 and then hit the tab key to toggle to the next box and then I can type 3 and enter. And that's the size of my business card. I'm now going to draw a couple of construction lines through the middle each way because I'll need them when I mirror later. Hit Escape to exit that tool. I would like the corners to be curved, so I'm going to click on Three Point Arc. Then click here and click here. Click a third time. And you know I should have gone back to the regular line type. That means I would need to unselect that. So I'm going to undo and redo that three-point arc. Click, click, click. If I zoom in, I can see there's a little bit of overlap, so I'm going to click Trim and get rid of it. I have no overlap there, but I'll trim this line and this line. Now I'm going to mirror this arc. Click on Mirror. Select the object to mirror. Select the mirror line and click OK. I'm going to do that again with both of these. And then I'll trim away these lines. I'll select these construction lines and hit the delete key because I don't need them anymore. Now I'd like to offset all of this. Click on offset click on this perimeter and I can just drag and eyeball a distance or I can type a distance and click OK. Now I'll finish the sketch. Click, right click, press pull, OK, but I need this sketch back so I'll turn it back on. Select, right click, press pull, click OK. Next, I'd like to put some text in here. So I'm going to click on Create Sketch again, click on the card, and click on text. And I have different kinds of text. I like this curved 
text, that is text on path. So what I need to do first is I need to create a path. So I'll click on the spline and then hit enter. Now I'll click on text, click on text on path, click on the path, and then type the text. I have all these options here like fit to path, and that just made the text fit to the length of the path. And I like that. I can change the font, but I'm going to keep this and change the height. I'm going to click OK and then finish sketch. Now I'll select, right click, press pull, and bring the letters up a little bit and click OK. If I want to make this more interesting, I can model something here or I can even import an SVG file and model it. For example, Insert SVG, insert from my computer. There it is. OK. It's locked, that is fixed, so I'll click fix, unfix, and now I can work with it. I'll click finish sketch. Model this. Hold the shift key down to select all of this. Press pull it up a bit. Scale it all. Going to turn off the sketches and then click on Align. I'm aligning bodies. I want to align this with this. And there you have it.